it is the fundamental right of these countries to decide their own future and their own destiny. And I'm not here's, saying here's it's not, but I'm important. saying that the countries that have been attacked, Georgia and Ukraine, were part of the Soviet Union. This contentious exchange between Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken quickly spread on social media. And, that does well, not and they Russia were part of right the Soviet them. Union since the 1920s. But that does not... <laughs> That does not give Russia the right to attack them on the no contrary. No one's saying it does. And Senator Paul is facing criticism for those comments on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The former director of European and Russian affairs for the National Security Council tweeted, quote, Paul implies that Russia is justified in attacking Ukraine because Ukraine was once part of the USSR. By that logic, Britain is justified in attacking the U.S. Charles Booker, who is seeking the Democratic nomination to run against Paul later this year, tweeted that Paul is, quote, actively pushing Putin's propaganda in the Senate. You see, Russian President Vladimir Putin has publicly dismissed Ukraine's right to function as a sovereign nation that is separate from Russia. And critics argue that Senator Paul was echoing that talking point in the congressional hearing. But Paul's spokesperson told LEC team that's not what the senator was doing. In part of her statement, she writes, quote, while there is no justification for Putin's war on Ukraine, there is an explanation for the invasion, which was the point Dr. Paul was making. An extended video shows Paul did say that. Now, there is no justification for the invasion. I'm not saying that. But there are reasons for the invasion. Paul was arguing that U.S. support for Ukraine to join NATO played a role in Russia's invasion. Why was it so important last fall, before this invasion, to continue agitating for Ukraine's admission to NATO? But the Secretary of State says the U.S. wasn't agitating. It was standing up for a country's ability to make its own decisions. One country can't dictate to another the choices it makes about with whom it allies. Uh, it's foreign policies. Paul also noted concerns of potential risks for the U.S. if Ukraine ends up in NATO. Had they been or are they to become part of NATO, that means U.S. soldiers will be fighting in Ukraine, and that's something I very much oppose. In Washington, Carolina Buchak, Evening Edition.